Welcome to Gourmet to Stay, episode five. Another week, another fusion food. Now eggs can be made into just about anything. This week, we're looking at Eggs Benedict. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Dormammu, I said I've come to Dormammu, I've come Dormammu, I've... Yeah, I'm taking this way too literally. Eggs Benedict is the perfect brunch food, and I've had it many different ways, but I've never seen one with chorizo on it. So let's make that happen this week. Let's get cooking. Just need to cut up a little bit of produce for both our chorizo sausage and the hollandaise that we're going to put over top. Now fresh herbs can brighten just about any dish. We're adding these to the hollandaise to make it almost like a chimichurri hollandaise. Now on to our sausage mix. I got all the flavoring right and it tasted great, but it didn't get that iconic red color that you see in chorizo. If you're looking for that, I would suggest taking the spice mix and stirring it into the vinegar before adding it to the beef. That should amp up the red coloring. these long enough to get a nice brown crust on each side. That Maillard reaction makes a nice texture and flavor. Now on to the hard part for most people, which is making a poached egg. Once you have a lightly boiling water, you're gonna make a vortex. I used the back of the spoon, it seemed to work better than the main part. You just crack that egg right in the middle of the vortex and it kind of swirls and stays in place. Go ahead and skim off all the uh, wispy white parts off the top and pull out your egg. Now this one didn't turn out too bad, but I think this method works the best for me. With that same vortex, use a pre-cracked egg in a ladle and drop it right in the middle. I feel like that holds the shape a lot better when it's entering the water. Now there's a perfectly poached egg your mama would be proud of. Over that same boiling water, we're going to make our hollandaise. Place the bowl right over the pot, and then you're gonna whisk constantly while you're slowly drizzling in some clarified butter. You're gonna remove it from the heat every few seconds because, well, if you don't, you're gonna end up with scrambled eggs. And even though that's tasty, it's not holidays. Now my favorite part, putting together the dish. This is a perfect dish for a nice cross-section shot. Just look at that runny yolk, that's exactly what you want. This brunch was hearty, rich, and we just couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> 